Good morning and welcome to What's Up Monday. It is June 19th and we're getting ready for belt testing. So let's get through what we have today. Uh, with belt testing one week away, this is review week. So this is the last chance for the kids to earn any of their missed stripes. They should have a yellow, at least one blue, uh, two if not three black, Dun, 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 and they're red. So the red stripe is the one that's missing a lot. Uh, that is when the parents fill out the parent permission slipper survey for belt testing. I have put that survey in the app. So if you go into the library, scroll down towards the bottom, the second to last one will be parent survey. So if you fill that out, then uh, they will get their red stripe when they come to class. Also need to register for belt testing. So that is when you open up the app, you'll see the event belt testing. We've got about 55 people missing from registration. So we wanna get that done so we can get the belts pulled and ready for belt testing. So if you have not registered your child for belt testing yet, please take care of that. If you have not filled out the survey, please take care of that as well. Uh, next, we're hearing the uh, rumblings already of summer. Uh, when one of the things we like to talk about is kids don't like transition. So if your child is doing something fun and you say it's time to go to karate, very likely you're going to get the, I don't want to go. And if you buy into what they're actually saying, you're going to run into that struggle and challenge that, well, they don't like to go, then they're going to miss out on the benefits and you're not going to want to come anymore and you end up quitting. So we want to prevent that. Whenever your child says they don't want to go, take a look at what they're doing right at that moment, right? Nine times out of 10, when they get to the school, by the time class starts, they're already ready to go and having fun. And then 10 out of 10 times by the end of class. They're having fun and they're glad that they came. So whenever your child says that they don't want to go, don't uh, just buy what they're saying. Take a look at what they're doing and see if you can adjust that. Uh, next, our life skill communication, wrapping up that this cycle. Communication is the link between the world and me. So the kids will be testing on that, making sure that their verbal and nonverbal communication is super strong. And we'll be talking about that in class. Leadership training, continuing on that new musical form. We've already got about three students that know all 10 moves and have been practicing regularly. So if you have not, make sure you get started on that. We wanna make sure that everybody can perform the musical form by August 25th. So this is a fun summer challenge to keep your brain sharp and ready to go. Uh, we said belt testing is next week. So one week for belt testing, Monday or Tuesday next week will be belt testing. And again, we'll be talking about that more in class. And then our summer championship is this Saturday. So we're going to start at 9 a.m. All competitors be at the school before 9 a.m. And we're going to zip right through, see if we can get everybody done and out well before 10, 10.30. Uh, so it's going to just depend on how well we can set things up, which I will be taking care of this week, making sure that it's a fun and an awesome experience for everybody that's competing. And then finally, the summer schedule. I posted the summer schedule in the Facebook group. Um, I will upload it into the app uh, this morning. Uh, once we're done with the video, you're going to notice a couple of changes. Number one, there's a little dragons class on Saturday, but not kids classes. We are going to be doing private lessons and uh, seminars on Saturday throughout. But we've also noticed that there's not a great attendance for the kids class. Uh, so that's why we dropped it just for the summer. It will be coming back in the fall. So if you like the Saturday classes, that's okay for the next eight weeks, right? Enjoy the summer. And when we get back to the fall, that will be coming in. Also notice that we did add morning classes for the kids. So Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, you will be able to attend if you want to get your class out of the way and then have fun doing whatever else that you do during the afternoon. There is an option and opportunity to do Little Dragons. When we did the survey about a month ago, there was only three, maybe four people that were even interested in that class. So I have not added it, but I can add it in. If you have a Little Dragon and you are interested in morning classes, make sure you let uh, Christy or my myself know and we will look into that and you see about getting it added for the summer schedule that should be everything review week review week and review week making sure the kids are ready to belt test uh, the only reason your child should not belt test is they're not here uh, we do have some families that are traveling a couple of people have tested early so we want to make sure we get care of that but it is important that the kids test every eight weeks and graduate to the next belt rank so that we can keep that cycle going. So if for any reason your child is not belt testing and you and I have not spoken about it, please make sure you see me so that way we're on the same page and we know what we're trying to accomplish. 
All right, getting forward to the championship this Saturday. Have a great day, and we'll see you in class.